the thermal analysis tab. Um, this is the fifth tab along in my workflow process, but your workflow process might change or differ slightly. So I'm just going to explain what you can do with the workflow here. Um, you can actually pick pick up each tag tab and um, move it to where you see fit. Some people might want to do the thermal analysis before they see the stress result, which is completely fine and makes logical sense as well. And um, just historically, I've always had my thermal analysis tab here, and I like it. Here, you can actually take that window or that tab, put on a second monitor, move it about, etc. Anything you want to do with it to get it back to where it was or to dock it again, just a little down arrow and you press dock. So I click on my thermal analysis tag here, tab here, and I've already got a few profiles created and calculated. So let's look at creating one first. Um, I could either copy a case, I would copy by just right click and copy case, and then I could go in and edit this, or I can just add a new case. The options we have, production, injection, worst case discharge, circulate, and worst case discharge is just for the Gulf of Mexico to satisfy the basic criteria. When we're filling in the pertinent data here, white boxes we can edit, gray boxes we cannot edit. Um, so here we can only select either the flow and bottom hole pressure or the flow and well head pressure, but not both, obviously. Um, got a notes box down here as well. I'm not going to go through all of these details because any engineer um, fully understands it, or should, should fully understand it if you design an HPHD wells. Um, if not, there is a little bit of a help file here where we can jump up um, and see details that we wanted to hand over in the help file. Failing that, feel free um, for any help throughout the program, feel free just to call an engineer at Blade and we'll be able to help you out. So if we look at this production max that was created for this well, this is the temperature profile. Um, the straight lines are the steel temperature, the dotted lines are the annulus temperature, and the line does affix and lock to the closest line, and then you can see um, depth and temperature. So at this point, we're at 171.4 degrees. Um, that's the temperature of the 16 and a quarter inch liner at 70,409 feet. Fluid pressure, we can also um, view this with this tab. And we've got a bubble point pressure displayed here. Liquid holdup, um, if we have breakout gas, then we'll see it here. And um, in this instance, we don't. And then we've got your percent liquid holdup displayed in this axis. If a user wants to look at all of the data, they can come here uh, for a specific number and see the data displayed in a nice neat table, which as always, uh, you can copy and paste out. Delta T, if we want to see a change in temperature, let's say we want to see the change in temperature from undisturbed to production max, or possibly a change in temperature from production max to um, well kill start, say, and then we've got average temperature change here. Let me calculate all these cases again here. Um, and then we get, say, initial condition of production, production max, um, final condition, what if it's for 50% water cut? The average, average temperature change in that instance um, is, is one degree here. We can also look at multiple thermal profiles. So we get to select which case name we want to look at. Um, let's say we want to show them all, except those two copies that are just for the demo. And maybe we just want to look at the fluid temperature um, and possibly the temperature, the six inch tube in as well. Click OK, and then we get all of our data displayed on the graph here. That is a little bit busy, so I'd probably then come away and take off the six inch tube, and then I can just see my temperatures. And we've got the legend down here showing you what the undisturbed temperature is, the black line, and then what each color relates to. And you see the line locks again, so it's easy to view the data um, and work with it. As always, right click, um, copy image. You can also zoom, move it around. That's just me scrolling on my mouse there, zooming in and out. If I want to get closer to a number of lines if this was really populated. Let's say we showed all and showed all. This is gonna be a lot of data, even if it does do it. Yep, it loads up. Um, and now I could zoom in and look at something in more detail if I needed to. And obviously this is a complete mess, um, not usable for anyone. So uh, we could get, get rid of it and just very display fluid temperatures. And there you see the, the slight change in temperature um, due to 50% water. One word of note just before I come out, um, this last participating string is by default in the production load, we'll have the production tubing in place. Um, but for say worst case discharge, 
we might not have all of our strings in place when we want to run the thermal model for worst case discharge. So we would select which was the last one that we set. And then this load case would be specific um, for this string. Let's say it's about 14 inch, this would be different to the 97 inch production liner. Then we can look at all of our worst case discharge cases and um, potentially look at all the reservoirs that we're drilling through, see what it sort of affects the thermal profile would have on our stresses. So that is our thermal analysis. Um, that thermal type kind of ties in with fluid. So I'm going to talk about fluid right now as well. So this is the fluids button up here. Um, the software comes with a lot of fluids already built. But if a user needs to build a fluid, they just build it um, following the steps instructions in here. Select is it a brine, is it a gel, oil-based mode, water-based mode. Um, this is oil and SBM mixed in together. Or if we add some more PVT functions, we can come in, then we can just create um, whatever we want, set our name here, and then set specific pieces of data that we receive from our mode manufacturer, enter them in here, and then we can use that created fluid um, inside the program.